Good afternoon, all everybody on the internet, friends. Internet friends list, friends on the internet. Welcome to episode eight? Question mark? I think it's episode eight. We'll go with eight. Episode eight of Beards, Tattoos, and Video Games. Joining me in the bottom corner, getting all fuzzy because his camera autofocuses a lot, is Spenger1. Yeah, you just you just auto focused hard and yeah, it's all good in the hood, baby. Anyway, cool. Well, welcome everyone. I'm excited to be here for episode eight. I like our episodes every Sunday. They are f many funs. Joining us back from his sick vacation is Flankton down the bottom. Bro gets really? sick. Whoa. Boy, you get sick. I get sick a lot. <laughs> I'm sick of getting sick. Now the thing is though, I was sick last week and was still here. Yeah. But I got out of bed like a half an hour before we were supposed to go on and I was like, oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> it's all good. Have, have, have you seen my hair on a weekly basis? That's Maybe true. I see it every weekend and it looks like shit. That, exactly. boy, that boy got all the hair on his head and it look whoo. Now nah, my, my hair is Get getting fucking... 20 minutes before. My hair's yeah, getting long. I'm <laughs> fucked up. Not as long as Nate's. My hair's Nate's, control. Nate's got the main. The main drain. Vein drain the main vein. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Talking about oh, dick. Boy. <laughs> what was that? Time to penis was, uh, what? Speaking Two minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, let's jump into, uh, this League of Legends Championship Series matches that are going on. LCS. So, yeah, what's. What's the what's the down low? With What's the happenings? All right. Happens? Well, yesterday, Team Coast lost again to Team Impulse. No big surprise there. They're mm -hmm. one and fourteen. There's no possible way for them to not get relegated now. So, see you later. Relegation. Uh, second game yesterday, Team Liquid versus Cloud Nine. Cloud Nine beat them. I. Not like Cloud Nine's been hit or miss, but Team Liquid's been looking shittier, so that's not too surprising. Uh, yeah, that 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 game was a typical Cloud Nine match. Like, I I saw I got to see that one. They just showed up, stomped the foot down, won the game. GG baby, GG. Yeah. The G -G. fucking support Nautilus. Was, I mean, her tales of it, but it actually showed up. So. Yeah. The, that's Lemonation's new hotness. Yeah. Anyway, game three, TSM versus Gravity. The upset, Gravity takes the game off of TSM. Yeah. I was yeah. pretty stoked. I was like, all right, baby, CLG, let's go. That was what, their fourth loss for TSM? Third? Yeah, they're 11 and four now. Oh, four, so, yeah. So, uh, so the, yeah. Uh, the, the, sorry, jumping ahead a little That's bit, right. but the game today, like that, that CLG and, and TSM, were they basically tied? They were 100% yeah. tied again. Yeah. This is the second time that they came into a, the, the week tied for first place against each other. But we'll get to that game in a minute. Yeah. 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 Uh, the next game after that was CLG versus Dignitas. Dignitas! Dignitas looked good in the beginning. Like, I. Dignitas! I was legitimately <laughs> nervous CLG was going to throw because it was kind of. You know, they had TSM today, so I could see him kind of looking past Dig. <laughs> And, uh, not really playing, like, giving them the respect they deserve, I guess. So, Dignitas showed up a little bit in the beginning, and then CLG ended up just doing CLG things and won the game. So, Dignitas, man. I don't know what their deal is. They have flashes of brilliance, and then nothing. I'll, I'll, rant, I'll rant about Dignitas after we finish out the week. <laughs> Alright. I, I, the last I, game, I, I, being a big fan of Dignitas, this, this whole thing is really starting to irritate me, so we'll get to that. <laughs> Uh, last game on Saturday was Teammate versus Winter Fox, and Teammate beat him. And uh, Winter Fox is, I don't know if you heard about this, but their um, lineup changes again. They're back to Glebe. Oh support. my god, come on. His AD carry again. And I'm just like, what are you doing? What You can't have consistency if you don't have a consistent <laughs> roster. No, it's and they were doing fine. It's so funny because in the beginning of the year, when Glebe was originally a support, they were waiting for their uh, actual starting support, which was Impact. It was like a Korean solo queue player. Yeah. And uh, so that's what Glebe was playing the first couple of weeks. 
And they looked, they, it was funny because they were starting to look really good, starting to get some cohesion, <coughs> some like, you know, team synergy. Yeah. But then they get Impact in, finally, put him in, Gleeb gets subbed out, they look like shit. So then they try to put the coach at AD carry, move all tech to support, and have their all star Korean sub import as a, or their all all star support in Korean import. They move him to sub. They look even worse. Now they're back to their original thing. So I'm just like, <laughs> it's I don't even know. I but, uh, they they <sighs> Winter Fox is is a hot mess right now. Like yeah. I don't I don't even know what's going on with that team. Cause they they could be great, like yeah, they could be like really said, good. But it's just in the beginning of the year they were looking like, all right, just a new team. They just need to get some synergy, get going. And yeah, they yeah. Started looking good, and then they changed their roster, and fucking no, who knows now. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll see. All right, on uh, to yeah. today, this morning's games was uh, the first game of the day was Dignitas Gravity. <laughs> Dignitas. Oh, man, I caught the end of that, and Gravity. Everybody's looking good. Uh, going into playoffs, like, I don't know how deep they'll go. CSM, CLG, even Cloud9. Yeah. Uh, against some of, like, the medium, middle of the pack teams and lower teams, they are looking pretty strong. Dean Midlane, he played Urgot yesterday. Oh, that's something I didn't talk yeah. about. Yeah. Urgot <laughs> that Urgot oh. pick was so good. <laughs> I mean, he's unreal. Are, have, have they uh, buffed Urgot in the meta yet? They actually did. The they, he was okay. So what they were talking about yesterday is that. Oh wait, no. I was thinking Nautilus, but I think he did get a buff recently. And uh, the team that t the TSM had against him was like an all AD comp, and they built. They were gonna build four Frozen Hearts, which was yeah. hilarious. Yeah, they they, they almost. <laughs> They almost had four frozen hearts. There was only one that needed left to be finished, and he didn't get the gold in time to finish it. Yeah. But the Ur uh, the Urgot plays, like, Keen killed it on Urgot. Like, every time Zed would ult in, he would just ult him right there. And yeah. And it was crazy. Yeah, he'd, he'd ult in, and then they'd, like, switch places, and he'd get the, the armor buff that Urgot gets when he ults. So, and then Zed would try to unload his fucking ult on him, and it would just, like, barely chunk his damage. It was like, pfft. That Urgot. Yeah. Not even. yeah. Um, Urgot, man. Uh, oh, yeah. So that was yesterday's <laughs> game. And uh, today, the uh, last game that I saw, which was TSM and CLG, the rematch for first place. And TSM ended up winning. TSM looked fucking great, really. There was, they seemed like they were in control the whole game. Uh, the first 20 minutes, 25 minutes, it was fucking even. Everything was even. Yeah. Powers, dragons, kills. Gold. It, 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 was it was like... 500 difference. It was insane how close it was. And then... They yeah. snuck that, that sneaky-ass Baron that CLG had no vision of. And then from that point on, it was all TSM. So... Yeah, it was it was like... TSM would get a tower, CLG would get a tower. TSM would get yeah. an objective, CLG would get an objective. And it was just like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then, yeah, the, the Baron that... <laughs> The Baron they got, the first the one. Baron. Yeah, and then, like, after that, it was just... They jumped on the steamroll and just... Yeah. <laughs> right over the rest of the game. Um, and then... So that was... The uh, next game was CLG... Or Cloud9 Team 8. That was the one that's on right now. I think that one's over. No, I'm, wa I'm, I'm watching it right now. I've got it on my TV. Over, over there. Uh, oh, okay. Well... Oh. Alright, well, that one's still going on. We'll update yeah. you guys with that one when it's over. It's, yeah, when it's finished, <laughs> Then later on is Team Impulse versus Winter Fox. Uh, probably Team Impulse. They're looking a little good too. Yeah, Finally yeah. Their team synergy. Uh, so I expect them to win. And last game of the day was Team Coast versus Team Liquid. Well, of course Coast is gonna lose. They're one win and fourteen losses. I mean, if okay, <laughs> if if I was Coast at this point, I would just pull out the strangest picks. Yeah. Right? Yeah, dude. Just just vi 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 top lane, like. Like the Urgot mid lane would have been a good pick for them. <laughs> just get, just get nuts, get crazy. Like yeah, you, you're, you you're, 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 you're playing for fun at this point. Just have fun. Yeah. Right. Like, That's the way I would look at it. I'd just be like, all right, guys, it's... we're out. We can't. There's no way we're getting out of relegation. There's no way we can make the playoffs. We're, mm -hmm. but we're at the bottom. There's nothing we can do about it. Let's just have fun. Pick a champion that you've never played before. Pick a champion you don't play often. Pick somebody you love because he's fun to play, not because they're good in the meta. Just have fun. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, yeah, for sure. 
It's well, rough. I mean, you always gotta have the bottom team. That's yeah, someone's gotta be last. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> someone's gotta be last. Uh, uh, that's true. I mean. Ridiculous. All right. Uh, that's it for the LCS. That's LCS. I mean, there's some interesting things going on with uh, League of Legends meta overall, though. With uh, that meta. The, yeah, uh, meta. The death of assassins. Basically, <laughs> I mean, they're they're trying to go away from assassins are overpowered to, you know, balancing things out a little bit from what I've seen. <laughs> to, to 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 mages are overpowered. Like, <laughs> you know, it's the bruiser. Yeah. It's the rise of the tank jungles. That Cinder Hulk. Uh, the new item they put in. That. Yeah. Gives you bonus damage for the more health you build. So, you're going to see a lot more like tanky bruisers coming out of the jungle. It's kind of funny because they just nerfed Jarvan. But, uh, yeah. like Nautilus, like Sion would probably be good. Uh, maybe even Olaf. Any of the jungles that you're going to build like health on is going to be kind of mm -hmm. scary. So, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'd, I'd like to see Olaf back in. Back in the LCS. Olaf's That'd be fun. the best. I love Olaf. Oh, <laughs> Bro Masia. Uh, well, so good. Speaking of MOBAs. Yeah, uh, what's up, Doc? Did you, did you guys hear about the longest Dota game in history that C9 played uh, this last week? I so, heard that they played the longest three one. And but... a three and a half hour game. Oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> Could you imagine losing that game? I... <laughs> I wouldn't even care at the end. I just no, I, God, by the end over. of it, like, like even the developers were like, "Yeah, the game was not meant to be played that long. There were just glitches all over the place. Like, just shit was happening on <laughs> a map that shouldn't have been happening." What? Uh, really? Yeah. Like it. It. Anyway, three and a half hour Dota two game. Um, this oh. last week. So, That's insane. Uh, the longest one before that was an hour and a half. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's fucking nuts, dude. Crazy, I right? Like, if there was like. Glitches and bugs that were affecting the game. I'm surprised they didn't like. I mean, it, it wasn't like glitches it. and bugs. It was just like randomly something would spawn on the map that wasn't supposed to spawn at that time, and just like weird shit was happening. They like the teams <sighs> were, ended up trolling each other towards the end, just because like it was a three and a half hour game. Like fuck it, we're just gonna keep playing. We're gonna have fun with this now. At this point, like we don't even care. Dude, that's that's if, like, insane. Dragon just stunned in mid lane, like. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Uh, we gotta, what, what? Like, well, uh, yeah. Like, they just... <laughs> halfway through the match. <laughs> like, anyway. Baron spawns in your base. You yeah, like, like oh, ba Baron, <laughs> Baron spawns on your fountain, and you, you just, yeah. you, re like, you recall level two, go back, and just Baron Nash are just standing there and killing you. What's up, guys? <laughs> like, what the, what, uh, this, what anyway, just happened? So that, that's my MOBA news. Uh... <laughs> Of craziness that happened that's in Dota insane. this week. That's yeah, yeah that. that's crazy. That's way too long. Like, that's, that's pretty cool though. That's too long. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would just be, I, yeah, I think I'd just be like mad by the end of the game. I'd be like, this is so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be pissed. Yeah, like, AFK. If you were getting paid money for playing Dota two, if yeah, if if, matter at that point. It's if, your fucking job. if I was getting paid by like the time spent in game, yeah, sure. But if, yeah, I, yeah, if yeah, I was, yeah. But if I if I was just paid like, all right, you're making this much money this match, that's it, flat rate. I'd be like, no, I'm done. AFK. <laughs> it's been two and a half hours. I'm out. This is this is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, that's that's way uh, yeah. too long for a Dota game. Too long for any MOBA, actually. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Uh, anyway, that, <laughs> that, that console is ugly. Holy moly! I click that link. Ooh. Yeah, that that is an ugly console. Oh, is it is it the new Nintendo? The oh. old. Oh, the old. It's oh. The OG PlayStation. Oh yeah! Wow, look at that. Yeah. Uh, credit to Mind God for uh, for finding that for us. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Mind God. Yeah, that's that's pretty yeah, insane. I didn't even knew, knew that existed. Yeah. Yeah, me neither. That's uh, that's crazy. The things you learn. Want to dive into uh, video game news? Okay. Let's talk about some video cards. <laughs> Who wants to go first? <laughs> you, because um, you're the only one. Uh, unless Spencer's got news. I told you. I, I mean, I, I, I don't really have much news that I've. It was. I mean, there's a lot of releases this week, like Battlefield Hardline. People, there's a lot of mixed reviews about that. I haven't played it yet because 
I'm against the yearly release thing. Like yeah. <laughs> Call of Duty. Um, I'll play it when it goes on sale. But um, yeah. Anyway, Battlefield Hardline came out this week. That's cool. Uh, Mario Party 10 came out on Friday. Um, I haven't played it yet. I'm sure Me Walmart was rushed with their uh, golden uh, uh, Mario amiibos. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sold out. It, it, it'd it. be it'd be cool. Like, like this whole amiibo thing is out of control. Like. They're cool, but why would you make it so limited? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Whatever. I don't know. I, I, I Nintendo's I, really pissing me off. That's all I'm saying. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Oh well, there's some other news. Speaking of Nintendo, Nintendo's moving into the mobile market, uh, mobile gaming. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah, uh, that's that's their next big thing. Um, you know, I just buy a brand new 3DS and. <laughs> Now it's not going to matter because Nintendo's going to be on my fucking phone. So. Sucker! <laughs> that's what you get! Yeah, that, that's, what, that's what you get for... <laughs> God, I got, them. Yeah, Nintendo I microtransactions. Nintendo. I, don't get, I don't get a charger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a charger. <laughs> Nintendo's microtransactions. There's, they're hidden secret microtransactions. You have to buy your own charger. You buy the 3DS and now they're going mobile. It's like, okay, so... Yeah. My new 3DS is going to be my new tablet? Like, <laughs> right? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles is, uh, is going to be new 3DS only. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that. The, the new wait. Xenoblade. The, the new 3DS only? Yep. You won't so, wait, wait, wait. On the old 3DS. It doesn't have enough processing. I thought, I thought Xenoblade Chronicles uh, was going to be 3DS and Wii U. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to... I, I saw something Xenoblade... New 3DS only. Um, I don't. It might just be <sighs> wow. the Xenoblade 3D, uh, just the re-release of the original Xenoblade on 3DS for new 3DS only. No, because maybe oh. maybe Xenoblade Chronicles was on 3DS, and that's why I didn't want to. That's why I was mad about it. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I don't. <laughs> oh, Monster Hunter Four. Thank you for bringing that up. I still can't get a fucking copy of that. Still? Just yeah. Get it off of the download shop. Yeah, you could just you could just. Oh, yeah. you just died. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's going on. That the game's still going on. It's yeah, still going it's on. Wow. Well. Wow. Well. Uh, yeah, teammates storming the tower. Uh, anyway, yeah. So Nintendo, I I don't know the direction they're going in. They're, I can't really figure it out. They're going in a, an awful direction <laughs> that that yeah. I mean it. Uh, With limited supply. <sighs> What? Mobile market only. They, they're, they're becoming the new evil corporation in gaming. The new EA. Yeah, they, dude. Yes, <laughs> they are. Nintendo is the new EA. Like they're doing exactly what EA did. Holy shit! Oh my god! Ah, oh, ah, oh, Nintendo. I hate you. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. I, th I thought it was going to be Ubisoft. I thought for sure Ubisoft was going to go down a dark, dark path. I mean, it, the Ubisoft's in a close second. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. Oh, That's man. Great job. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that, I, I really don't have much gaming news. Uh, right now, on sale today, we've reviewed it in the past, in one of our previous episodes. Uh, the Order 1886 is 40 bucks on Amazon today. That's a cool sale. That's nice. Loose. Nice. How much is it? 40. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. I mean... I think Teammate just won. Yeah. I think so. That looks like they just won. That's cool. No! <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm glad, they, I'm glad Cloud9 lost. We all know I don't like Cloud9. Ugh, but I got Cloud9 on my fantasy. <laughs> I haven't looked at fantasy in like three weeks. Oh, I lost to Spencer. Haha! -ha. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, um, more Mortal Kombat news. <laughs> more Mortal Kombat news. Um, last week we announced. Uh, <laughs> Dude, they, they they announced a bunch of new characters again. I don't know what to tell you. The uh, last week we announced uh, Jason Voorhees. Um, this week, Xbox actually accidentally leaked that Predator was going to be uh, a DLC character. And so then they were kind of forced to reveal Predator. So they revealed three, <laughs> all right, four, four, sorry, four downloadable purchased separately $30 packs. So yeah, Whoa. there's one, 
ultimate horror pack. You like, it unlocks Jason Voorhees and horror skins, uh, Vampiris, v- Molina, Kraken, Reptile, and Pharaoh Ermac. So it's like skins for the. Is that what you just said? Yeah, basic, yeah, the... yeah, yeah. Oh. So it's a thirty thirty dollars for three skins and Jason Voorhees, and then there's classic pack number one. You get Tanya, classic skins for Kano, Sonya, and Liu Kang. The Predator Prey Pack, you get Predator. Predator themed skins, Commando Johnny, Infrared Scorpion, Carl Weathers as Jax. Classic pack number two, you get Tremor. Classic skins for Quan Chi, Jax, and Kung Lao. So basically, they're saying that for $30, you get a character and three skins. So. Wow, wow. Yeah, Mortal Kombat's definitely going down a path that I don't even give a shit about this game anymore. Like. I mean, that's really fun. Okay, so, yeah. so I understand their mentality where it's going to be like, okay, well, let's do like Riot and Dota, and people can buy champion champions and and skins. But yeah, okay. If I'm gonna pay sixty dollars for the game up front, why am I gonna spend extra money on yeah, that? Yeah, that's why yeah, that games are like that because it's free to play. Yeah, I think yeah. games like Heroes of the Storm, Dota, League of Legends, um, the My Infinity Crisis. And yeah, in Infinity Crisis. Yeah, okay, yeah, dude, MOBAs they in ain't general. Free to play MOBAs. Yeah, like, they're they're free, they're free to, to play, play like, and then you can buy or unlock other things, not pay sixty five dollars and then thirty dollars on top of this to get these. So you're talking like if you wanted all four of those, that's another hundred and twenty dollars. That's a two hundred dollar two hundred dollar game for those uh, three twelve skins and four extra characters. This better be the fucking Mortal Kombat to end it all. That's well, crazy. that's what they said about the last Mortal Kombat. They were like, "Well, we're done with this." Yeah. So probably not. Mortal Kombat, I hate you. Um, Sony Sony is disabling online features for MLB 14, the show. The sport will end on June 18th, 2015. You will no longer be able to access the online features for MLB 14, the show. Because uh, MLB 15, the show, comes out on March oh, March 31st. Yeah, March 31st. Things just happened with uh, Final Fantasy 11. They're... Uh, I... Uh, Square Enix is no longer supporting console versions of Final Fantasy XI. Huh. Wow. Uh, coming up, because they want they want everybody to switch over to fourteen. Yeah. And and and, and with with Heaven's Heaven's Ward, I mean, you got they've they've got to like probably need server room because that's a huge huge thing. And to to but, to port uh, to port it to I, PlayStation and the computer, I mean, you gotta you gotta need a lot of server space for that. There's a lot going on. There. Yeah, for sure. Um. I find it interesting that, that, you know, games that do this, um, that, you know, they they take themselves offline, but there's still a fan base there. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, what was it? it? Halo like when two? Like when Halo 2 did that? Yeah. Uh, that, was a, that was a sad day. Didn't, wasn't there a thing where, like, the, somebody was in a match, and they stayed in a match for, like, two weeks, so they couldn't turn uh-huh. off the servers? Yeah, it was, it was, it was, uh, I think it was two different guys. They, they started a game. And they were like, "We're not leaving. We're like, you can't shut it down." <laughs> so uh, yeah, I think uh, yeah, it was like it was like it was two weeks before. Uh, I think Bungie bribed them with something, and they're like, "Dude, if you get off, we'll do something." And then like they were like, "All right." Mm. All right well, yeah, it was, it was it was something like that. Like yeah, it's crazy. Damn. It's always a bummer to hear about stuff like that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But... Oh, this oh, well. this is very sad, disheartening, crazy news. Kodami and Hideo Kojima are parting ways. They will not be working together after Metal Gear Solid V, which puts a weird wrench in the gears for Silent Hills, um, because Kojima was uh, headlining that project project too. I don't know the actual official statement. It's like it's it's a whole video that Konami and Kojima um, worked on to say that they're not working together anymore. But I do know that. Kojima said that he's 100% involved and will continue to working continue working on Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain and he's determined to make it the greatest game he's ever directed. So it's very sad 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 news. Oh, did he disconnect? He just disconnected. He just stuck with his face like Awesome. I got boss faced. Uh, that's great. Good, good job, Spencer. And every time, every time he does that, Team Speak turns down, and my mixer starts to turn. Uh, but yeah, that's 
that's a that's a that's a that's a big huge super bummer. Hmm. I really, I really, I, that, that that's like super super dumb like bummer news. I don't know, man. I really I'm I'm sure I'm sure, sure like somebody somebody from uh somebody from a different gaming company will talk to Hideo Kojima and be like, hey, you want to come make games for us instead? Or maybe he'll yeah. just maybe he'll start his own gaming company like. Yeah, he could do it. The mastermind he's behind a big my name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's a big enough name that if he if he go oh, all right. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> if he's a big enough name that if he started a company, he'd have huge back and everybody would love him. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah, as long as he would deliver on his. Yeah, so he seems. Um. Well, Planet Side fans, you can register for the closed beta. Uh, for Planet Side 2. The closed beta testing, the European closed beta testing will be on March 25th. Um, dates for the other territories uh, will come out later. So if you live in Europe and you want to play Planet Side 2 beta, you should sign up for that because that's going to happen. This is a kind of a funny, funny story. Um, Denmark lets you buy Bloodborne with your own blood. Yeah. Yeah, you donate blood. You donate blood, and then you get a copy of uh, Bloodborne. So. That's great. Yeah. That's super funny. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, and um, you also there's a chance to win the Bloodborne themed PS4. <laughs> so if you live in Denmark, go donate blood and get free stuff because that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Big super good news after the super sad news. Star Wars Battlefront will make its debut next month. So oh. that's fucking awesome. I'm really excited about that. Yeah, me too. Um, already? Oh, yeah. Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, what, what do you mean already? It's been forever. They, announced it, they, they officially announced it in June at E3. Um, mm. So, uh, I mean, I haven't seen anything else for it. So that's really exciting. That, um, yeah. Um, Moving forward with that. But uh, next month, a April 16th through the 19th, is the uh, Star Wars celebration. Ah. That's why. It's not It's not on May May 4th? No, that that's just Star Wars Day. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. Uh, we talked about this last week, the PlayStation View. Um, it's the uh, cable network that PlayStation's using to replace cable. Um, it's out, and... It's cable without a contract. You pay monthly. I think it's uh, there's there's different packages you can choose from, and you get different channels with each package. Like um, the first price is fifty dollars. Um, you get fifty channels, including CBS, like all, all the CBS channels, Fox, NBC, Telemundo, Animal Planet, BET, uh, Cartoon oh, Network, man. yeah, Telemundo. Comedy Central, Destiny America, um. I have, I have like a bunch of other channels. I'm not gonna read all fifty of them, but that's on PS4. Yeah, they have their own uh, cable network now. Man. And then you can upgrade to the core price. You know, the first one's called Access. The next, the level two is called Core Price. It's sixty dollars, and then you get BTN, the Golf Channel, and TCM. Um, and in Philadelphia only, you get Comcast, Sportsnet, Philadelphia, Chicago, and or you get Comcast. Philadelphia and Chicago only you get to the Chicago version, and the elite price price which is seventy dollars. Really, really works well. It would only works well if you're in a big city. Well, no, that that's the only two that are like only those channels are only available for. It's just those yeah. two. Or right, in New York, it's the Yes Network, whatever that is. And then the the elite price is seventy dollars. You also you get on top of all of those, you get American Heroes Channel. BET Gospel, Boomerang, Centric, Chiller, Clue, CMT Pure Country, CNBC World, Cooking Channel, Discovery Fit and Health, Fox College Sports Atlantic, Fox College Sports Central, Fox College Sports Shut Up, Fox College Sports, uh, MTV Channels, Nat Geo Wild, Teen Nick, Universal Velocity, VH1 Classic, VH1 Soul. So basically, you spend the $70 a month, you get every uh, cable. You get with your yeah, yeah. So. And you, pay, cool. and, and you pay it per month, not like a contract. You're like, oh, I'm locked into this deal for months. 
Or for years, I mean, not months. Well, so I, I logged onto my PlayStation as you were talking about that. And, uh, <laughs> it, it says that I can do a, a seven day free trial. So I'm going to try that out. Oh, nice. So if you have a PlayStation 4, go get a seven day free trial of uh, PlayStation View. You can watch cable. Yeah. Get your own cable network on your PlayStation, become a cable box. Pretty cool. It's a gaming cable box built in with the Better internet. Than what Xbox One's doing. Sick burn. <laughs> <play that>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that face. Sorry, Nate. Uh, all right. Uh, Helldivers receives three new DLC packs. Three. Yeah, three at the same time. Wow. Each pack is based uh, three dollars. So. That's good price. Yeah, three dollars. Um. <laughs> doesn't really. Say what they are. Oh, there's a commando pack, a support pack, and a defender pack. And it just like basically what the what those packs are is what they are. Like commando pack has a silent submachine gun and multiple missile launcher. Support pack adds a laser based carbine and a backpack drone that heals and repairs friendlies. And the defender pack has a guard dog backpack drone and a semi automatic rifle that shoots frag grenades. So cool. Yeah. Uh, I want to fucking play that game. <laughs> and, 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 you know, we've been, we've been kind of talking about the net neutrality thing for a little while. Um, Comcast may be violating net, violating net neutrality rules by blocking HBO Go on Sony consoles. Because I don't know if you guys knew about this, but um, HBO Go kind of has like a contract with Comcast. But with the net neutrality, that Comcast is no longer, or that uh, contract is no longer void. I mean, good. The contract is Valid. void. Valid. Yes. Words. So, uh, basically, if they keep doing it, then the FCC is going to have to step in and be like, hey, look, you can't do that anymore because net neutrality, bro. Suck it. Suck it. Yeah. Suck. So, yeah. I mean, that's all, that's all the news I got for my news. What you got, hmm. Flank, bro? Um, nothing. Oh, the only thing I wasn't going to use nothing. <laughs> nothing. You didn't mention, well, the only thing I talked about last week was Uncharted 4 got delayed again. Yeah, we talked about it last week. Thanks for watching the show. Yeah. You're welcome. Look at this cat. I get this cat instead. Cat! Hello, cat. Cat. Final cat does not look happy. <laughs> it, it does kind of look like a cat that you could make in Final Fantasy. Do it again. Bring up the cat. Hold it still. Doesn't it kind of look like. Hold, hold it still. Hold it still for a second. Doesn't it kind of look like a cat you could make in Final Fantasy yeah. 14? Like it's got the oh, perfect ears perfect. in the right yeah. exactly spot. Like the right, same exact look spot. At this. That's she awesome. Have a tail. She's so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> so you customized your cat you used Fantasia, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's nice. funny. Lucky. Uh, <laughs> All right. Well, well, we got. You want to go into reviews? Yeah, let's jump into gaming reviews. Every week we play games. We review them at the end of the week on our show. We're gonna do that right now. Who wants to go yeah, first? Pew pew. I'll go first since I suck. You oh, suck, go first. Grand Theft Auto Online. No, not that bad. Look, you, you got a promo right behind you as well. Uh, yeah, like, right. check that out. Uh, uh, poster. You got there. a poster. You got there. a poster right, right there. Cool. I just love that game, Nate. It must, be your, good, it must be your favorite game of all time. All right, so I finally, I've been playing GTA V for quite a while. I first got it, I think I got it release day for the 360. So I've been playing it for a long time. Um, like everybody else, patiently waiting for Heist to come out, and they finally got came out last week. Pew, so pew. I tried to play him a little bit on uh on the 360. I had no luck. Uh, so I figured, fuck it. I know I have a couple of friends that play play on Xbox One. So Friday, X -bone? I, went, I bought the Xbone version. And <laughs> let me tell you, first thing, it looks so good. I hate you so much, but <laughs> so much better than the 360 version. Uh, so that was the first thing I noticed. So then, and I was also able to transfer my online character, which was nice. Oh, uh, that was good because uh, if you had to start over, that'd be kind of bullshit. Yeah, that's, I would. That, that's one thing that I love about about these upgrade options that um, Xbox and PlayStation have offered is mm -hmm. like. You, you buy the PS3 or, or Xbox 360 version, you get a free upgrade. I know most yeah. of it is ending as of April 1st. Um, oh, oh. The free upgrades. So, if you got a game you want to upgrade, get on it. 
Get on you know it. Get, get, get too. on it. I was able to transfer all my save data and shit to the 360 version. <laughs> That's I good. I also upgraded it for only $5, so that was nice. I think unlike Grand Theft Auto, I had to spend another fucking 60 bucks on it, but I'm a fucking boss, so that ain't nothing to me. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> uh, the heist, <clears throat> I only got to play, <laughs> I only, I played the first one all the way through. Mm-hmm. And they're super fun. It's not like... The first uh, one's that prison break one, right? No, the first one is a bank job. Super oh, bank okay. Job. And uh, it's really neat how they set it up. Like, you have to buy a special apartment that has, like, a certain room, and that becomes your heist room, hmm. which I guess you were not able to... Like, they, the buildings were still there before they released heists, but I guess this particular room was already built in. You just couldn't open the door yet. So now you can go in there, and it's a sweet little room in your house. And, the door uh, has so opened... You're the freaking heist leader guy, and you have to uh, pay a certain amount of money up front, which is, like, costs for everything. And uh, every, then you invite the rest of your crew, your other three friends, and they don't have to pay anything. So it's kind of, like, lame in that sense. Like, you're like, damn, I just spent $40,000 on this. I hope we get this done. But the payouts are usually, like, 100-something plus. So yeah, equals out. And it's pretty neat. Like, the first one I did, you have to go get, like, a, a special bulletproof car. And then uh, that was, like, one mission. Like, you have a couple setup missions before you. you don't just, like, jump into the heist and go do it. Like, they're, just, they're not like, here's your car. Here's all this information. Like, go do it. It's like, all right, you have one mission. You have to go get this car. The next mission, you have to go do some – or, like, I, uh, the second one, you have to get a bus. You have to get a plane. You have to break into the police station and get, like, some documents. And – then you also have to get a getaway car. And that's the prison break one. And Yeah. So that's like all seven <clears throat> missions. And then once you have all your materials, you actually go and do the heist with all your acquired stuff. So it's kind of neat how it breaks it up into like little separate missions. It's not just like one solid thing. So each one could probably take, I don't know, 45 minutes, hour plus. So that's nice. And you get a shit ton of experience and a shit ton of money. So that, that's fun. But I haven't, <laughs> I haven't had much success in finding people to play with, so I haven't <clears throat> got really to experience much of it. So if anybody's out there wants to play on Xbox One, hit me up, cause I want to do some heists, man. But I can't, cause I ain't got nobody to play with. So does uh, does GTA have a, a matchmaking system, or do you have to use like some third party website, like in Destiny? There's no real matchmaking system for raids. So it was like you had to go to <laughs> destinylfg.net. Uh, and look for people. Good job, like, Destiny. Like, <laughs> no, there's a match. Like, it'll send out a broad invite. I like it. It sends a thing that invites everybody. Yeah. And then they can just accept. But I'm thinking since the second heist, like, people are kind of like, dude, I don't want to do that one again. I've already done it. Yeah, I heard I heard that if, if, if you, like, go back in a heist, then you the where you were, like, whatever you had, like, resets. Okay, so like really? yeah, so like going backwards is bad. That's why like a lot of people aren't doing that. Like, Ugh. yeah. So because it sucks too. I finally got well, I got a four person crew and I started up and it obviously opens with a cutscene of a guy kind of telling you what's going on. Mm -hmm. And then everybody, I guess it took too long because everybody was like fuck this and they left. So when it comes out of the cutscene, it was like all right, your heist is disabled because everybody left. <laughs> I was like uh. all right, cool. Like fuck me for trying to figure out what's going on, right? So. Yeah, no. it's just. Like people like that are annoying anyway. Like, just it's almost like they were trolling you. They got in the game and then they like waited for the cutscene and they're like, "All right, we're gone." The yeah, ultimate troll. Uh, but it doesn't uh, surprise me because like the GTA community are just a bunch of griefers. Like I'll yeah. drive around the town and uh, get like just shot at and blown up for no reason. I'm not even doing anything. Like trying to run people over or hurt anybody. Like I'm trying to just go to the clothing store. Or <laughs> and I actually I came back yesterday. And I went and changed my clothes, and just as I was walking out, some guy just shot me. Like, I didn't even have a gun in my hand. He just ran into the fucking clothing store, shot me with a shotgun, and ran away. And I was like, okay, yeah. welcome to Grand Theft Auto, Yeah, I guess. cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I also heard, like, um, Rockstar was having uh, server issues for a while. I don't know if they got those fixed yet or not, but I know they're, they're, they were... They were fixed within, like, the first couple hours. Oh, yeah, okay. It's actually a pretty smooth release for that. Oh, yeah, we talked about that last week. Yep. I'm an idiot, sorry. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, I, su I don't watch our show. We suck. <laughs> the, but the only thing that kind of sucked about upgrading to 
the Xbox One version is it did not save my single player data. No, that so sucks. Start all over. But I wasn't very deep into the single player stuff. I was probably like 15 hours. So. Yeah, that still kind of sucks though. Like. Yeah. That's 15 hours, pretty much wasted at this point. You know what I mean? But I, I played the single player for a couple hours, and I jumped into multiplayer because if you remember when the Grand Theft Auto first launched, they had a lot, a lot of multiplayer issues. Like yeah, it yeah. Wasn't available. <laughs> so I spent all that time, oh, excuse me, uh, playing the single player. And Good mic cover. And played... yeah, thank you. <laughs> I played a bunch of, uh, uh, multiplayer shit, and I kind of forgot what was going on in the story. So I guess this is a nice, like, way to recap. And nice. See what's going on, so. I think uh, I have GTA Five for PS4, so I might play it. You would. You would. I do not own that game for anything. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, whatever. All right. Well, I'm gonna talk about Final Fantasy Type Zero HD remake. Oh man. Uh, so. Can I just say, I, what? I agree with your post on Facebook. Which one? That it's like the bloodiest. Yeah. Final Fantasy. Yeah. Like I, I've, I don't think I've ever it's seen. Totally I've different. never seen like real blood in Final Fantasy games. The first cutscene in this game. They like, yeah, off. yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, like, dude, this is seriously like, they, there's blood everywhere in this game. You're like, Damn. all the cutscenes, it's just like blood splatters. You're like, what? This is Final Fantasy. What is this? But this was this cool. this was the Final Fantasy that came out for PSP a few years ago, but was never released in the West. So they bumped it up HD graphics, ported it over to Xbox One and uh, PS4, and it's a lot of fun. There, you're in a part of this class called Class Zero, and you have eight people in the class with you, and these are the eight people you get to choose from to do your missions with. Um, you can play any eight of them. You can bounce back and forth between whoever you want. Um, you can, as you pick the three you want to play with, and then even in in game, you can just switch whoever you want to play with at any time you want. So yeah. that's yeah, that's really cool. You can, but if you whoever you don't take on the mission with you doesn't get any experience. So the only people that get experience are the three people on the mission with you. Is there... I'm assuming they're all kind of like... have their strengths and weaknesses. Is there yeah, anybody yeah. that like just sucks ass and you'd never want to take with you? Uh, I didn't actually get to play with all of them. Because I, I, I usually just stuck with... Um, Ace was the is like the main guy that's all over the, the, the front of the game and stuff. He has the cards and he throws cards and shit. Um, yeah. Yeah, and then there was... Um, oh, what was her name? This girl that had a scythe, and she was really cool. She was—I don't—I don't know if she was any good, like because there's like if you go on a lot of websites, they have like power rankings for all the characters. I didn't pay attention to that. I just picked all the characters that looked cool. I picked her because she had a giant scythe, and then I picked the dude that had um, like the sword and shield kind of looking thing. So I was like, all right, I got like a caster, I got like a DPS healer because she the, the girl with the scythe is like also a healer. And then I had, like, my little big tank guy, and I was like, all right, this is a good setup, I'll just play with this for a while. And I never actually went back to, like, level anybody else up, so when I got, like, into the game, it was like, oh, well, I'm not going to play with you guys anymore because you're not high enough level to do anything. <laughs> um, there's a lot of a lot of uh, features that I didn't get to play around with, like, you can breed chocobos in the game, and, like, cool. as you, you can breed them to do different things, and, like, better and better and better if you train them right and breed them right, so that's cool. Um... The cutscenes, uh, I, I don't know what they look like on the PSP, but I imagine they weren't great looking, because PSP wasn't any sort of HD at all. But the cutscenes in this game are great. Like, they all look phenomenal. They're When they revamped them, they revamped them really well, and they look great. There are some things that, like, some things in-game aren't bumped up to HD, so it's kind of like really awkward looking places where it's just like, this wall doesn't look good. And then this, like, little square in the floor doesn't look very good. I, it's kind of, like, all just, like, little things. So like, not really game-breaking or anything like that. It was just kind of like, whoa, what the... What happened to that? And, yeah. 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 And some of the... Yeah. <laughs> hey, you missed one. Um, <laughs> you missed a spot. <laughs> and, but, um... And... Like that one uh, block that's, like, wrong in Minecraft. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what it was like. It was like, oh, my, my house is perfect. What is that thing? <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> yeah, <laughs> I gotta start over. But um, uh, what else? Oh, and when some of the characters are talking, their mouths aren't in HD, 
So when they're talking, they, their mouth looks weird. It, like it like looks like a PSP game, and they're just kind of like they don't actually like. There's no like definition to their mouth at all. So just kind of like up and down, like I don't know, yeah, it's just, it wasn't very good. <laughs> but everything else is great. Uh, it's a lot of fun, super fun game. I would recommend playing it if you get the time. It's only Combat's it's fun. yeah the com- the combat is really fun. Um, it's only eight chapters. It's not a very long game, so the price on the game isn't really worth it. That kind of like downed it in my eyes because it's like it's a remake. It's from a PSP game, and the PSP game can't hold that much. So this game isn't going to be as long as a regular like you know thirty hour Final Fantasy game that you'll never beat everything in unless you play it for the rest of your life. So I thought $65 was kind of a little much, but then it came with the Final Fantasy 15 demo, which I will talk yeah, about. If, if, if I will talk about. about <laughs> if, if, you, if you don't care about price and just wanted to play Final Fantasy 15, I was willing to pay 60 bucks to play Final Fantasy ah, 15 for a couple hours. Dude. Uh, that's just... That's worth. What, that's, that's just, just, we'll, we'll get to that, but worth. Um... <laughs> Um, overall, I'd give this game a Grandpa Beard with some fuzz. It was eight and a half. Eight solid and game, half. solid gameplay, solid graphics, really good story, and good combat. Yeah. I mean, if 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 they would have worked a little harder with the HD stuff and made everything, you know, sixty frames per second, ten eighty p, all that bullshit, um, then. I would probably would have bumped it up to a nine, but because of the little things, it's like I can't. I mean, you got you got to do the whole game, otherwise you don't get the best score you can get. So I docked you. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> get out. There's the door. The door's closed, Bobby. Oh yeah. Well, you can open it. It's just a little handle. Do you want to talk um, Final Fantasy 15, or do you want to jump into yeah, Ori? I, okay. I, Boom. Fin fan fitting, brah. That that demo. That's it. That's all I'm saying. That demo. Moving on. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, (laughs) I bought I bought uh, Type Zero mostly because it came with the Final Fantasy 15 demo. That uh, that was a big factor for me too. I mean, I I wanted to play the Type Zero because I heard it was really good when it was in Japan and stuff, and like it's worth it. I mean. But it's just not long enough for me. But anyway, yeah. That was a big reason I bought it, too. Yeah. Uh, Final Fantasy fifteen, Fucking awesome. Like, whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it was, a lot of, it was really cool. Um, Combat um, is so different. Like, so different from almost any Final Fantasy game. I wanted to be, like, 14 and 12 and 13. <laughs> But, Just put them all together you know, into one game, please. But it's still different. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, oh, man. It, it, um, it was pretty similar to Type Zero, honestly. Like, just the action combat where there's no, like, turns. It's just all yeah. going at the same time. I nice. found it interesting uh, equipping your five weapons. And as you're attacking, you, like, randomly pull out of the ether... Like, yeah. A different weapon. I, I thought that was um, I thought that was with, cool. Like, different powers and different abilities, and the order you put them in is actually the order you're pulling all these weapons out in. Yeah, yeah. Um, the order you put them in is the order the combo goes. Yeah. Like you start out with like a little sword, and you go to like a big one, and then you can get the the pole arm, and it's just yeah. It was it was. I thought that like that system was really cool. Like way different than anything yeah. I've ever played. Uh, a lot of fun. My- my, my difficulty with the combat system was um, camera tracking and enemy enemy tracking. Like, when I target an enemy, I want my camera to always be focused on that enemy. Yeah. Like, an enemy would jump behind me, and then I'd be still be facing the opposite direction. Yep, I agree. Uh, that I agree. was my only complaint and difficulty with the combat. Um, but, yeah, I mean, really cool, solid demo. Um, uh, from... Okay, so in, what was it, like 2009, uh, uh, Square Enix came out with the Final Fantasy 13 demo, and there were a ton of changes from the demo to the actual release. Like, the combat system totally changed, everything changed. So I'm expecting a lot of upgrades when we actually see the final release of Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Like we saw in the demo, like, it'll be similar, 
but it's not going to be what we saw in the demo. Oh, yeah, it won't, it won't even be close to the demo, because uh, a lot of things I noticed in the demo, there's a lot of, like, like frame rate issues, which, I mean, it was, it, I didn't really expect much going in. I expected, like, you know, basic gameplay of the game, and, like, you know, like, they'd introduce you to the characters and whatnot. They didn't really introduce you to any of the characters. <laughs> they kind of just said, all right, this is this, this is the combat, go have fun. And then you had to, like, the whole whole story of the demo was you had to get your car fixed. And um, in order to do that, you have to kill the behemoth and then sell the, the behemoth horn to get the money for the car, fix your car, and then you can go. And uh, the behemoth was cool. He was, like, you have to, like, you're hunting him. You have to find his tracks. You have to find where he's hunting. You have to find all these, like, little things about him before you actually go kill him. And you go fight him, and he just kicks the shit out of you, and you run away. Because he's a behemoth, and there's you're just three dudes. Um, four. Was it four? Yeah. Oh, yeah, three you're extra guys, yeah. Your, yeah. your best bro friends, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, because the, the joke of the game is it's just a, it's a road trip with your best friends. Um, it totally is. Yeah. But, um, uh, yeah, you do that, and then you go find this cave. The cave was stupid hard, because there's 150 little trolls. Uh, I hated that part. Like, you go into this little cave, and then there's just, like, you walk in, troll spawn, you kill him, and then you go a little deeper, and then there's more trolls, and then you go a little deeper, and it's just, like, you're just overwhelmed with trolls, and Spencer disconnected again. Good job, Spencer. I, I, I'm halfway connected. <laughs> Anyway, um, but after that all happens, you get to have the super fun, um, you unlock a summon called, uh, was it, was it Rama? Good talk, Spencer. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, okay, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it was Rama. And then you go back to fight the behemoth, and when you get to summon the guy, the fucking... The, it's kind of like cheesy little like, um, a cheesy little fight. Like you don't really get to do much. Like you go into it, and how you summon Rama is like, you get your HP to zero. So, I mean, you get your your HP to zero, and then you stand around. And it's like hold X to summon Rama, and then you summon you hold X. He shows up. He like picks you up off the ground. And he summons this giant lightning storm and then just smashes the fucking the behemoth and that's it. <laughs> yeah. So I mean yeah, it was it's really cool and it was a lot of fun. But the whole The whole second fight was kinda of boring and lame, but you know. It is what it is. I mean it's it's super it was fun, it was good. But the last fight kinda of sucked. It wasn't as it wasn't as fun as I was hoping, I guess. Um, I I don't think I finished all the uh, all the all the story stuff because I tried to go fight Behemoth again and failed pretty miserably again. Did you even do the quest? Because if, if, yeah, if you follow the quest line, you 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 get everything and then you just go kill him super easy. I I ran around a lot and I I failed, so I, I probably needed to go up north and go talk to the chick or whatever. Yeah, you go to the town and you talk to the dudes in the town, and then they, he tells you about a cave, and he's like, "Don't go in the cave," and then you're like, "All right, we're going in the cave," and then that's when you, yeah. So yeah, a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to release now, like way more than I was before. I mean, I just spent sixty bucks on a demo. So that's what it comes down to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically, like almost, yeah. Um, I could, I could almost just return my Type Zero disc back to Amazon, and I already have the code on my account. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, can you guys hear me all right? Am I, am I coming in okay? Or is you sound my... a lot better actually. Before yeah. You're breaking up and crackling a lot. Yeah, you're, uh, you're better. Weird. I'm connected through my phone's internet now, and it's better than my house internet. Huh. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> All right. uh, I don't know. My room's like uh, in my house. Whatever. That's awesome. Um. Anyway, so Ori, Ori and the Blind Forest. Man, this game is so cool. This game is so cool. The artwork in that game is fucking fantastic. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Look at look at that picture. Um. 
and yeah, uh, this whole entire game is just a a masterpiece. The backgrounds, uh, the, the the enemies, and how they move, and like uh, just everything about the artisticness of this game is is fantastically beautiful. Um, uh, you you're basically a a a sport a, a forest spirit ninja is my best description of Ori. <laughs> um, nice. And like the, the entire beginning of the game, it's like the fields are they're just there. <laughs> fields <And> are there. <laughs> I I wanted to like cry at the beginning of the game because it's, it's so sad and like ah. That know, sucks. It's, like that's no, cool, but that yeah. sucks. But it's it's so good. Like the the storytelling. Um, they instead of like using actual words, it's like forest sounding mumbo jumbo with subtitles. Um, so oh, like, okay. the, the the big tree talks to you, but it's like oh, Okay, uh, Jabba the Hut. They, uh, <laughs> it sounds like Jabba the Hutt. It does. Han <laughs> Solo. Storytelling is fantastic throughout the whole thing, um, uh, and it, it progressively gets harder and harder. Like um, uh, even even as you upgrade all your abilities, like you get ability points and you start upgrading everything, uh, the enemies are still challenging. And even though I've got like twenty hearts or whatever, they're like little life cells. Even though I have twenty hearts at the end of the game, it's still really tough. Um, <laughs> Because it's nice. like there's lava everywhere, and like there's just there's 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 bullets flying at you, like whatever the the forest bullet things are that the enemies shoot at you. Um, <laughs> and then the uh, the movement throughout the game is is crazy, um, where it's like you start by just you know a single jump, and then <coughs> oh, sorry, um, the, the you guys and you're choking. And then you can start breathing under water, and then uh, whenever an enemy shoots something at you, you can, like, re deflect it. So it's like you basically pause the game for a couple seconds, decide which way you're going to to deflect their 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 bullet, um, and, like, either shoot it back at them, or, like, so you can keep going up a tree. It's basically, like, the entire map is this huge ant farm. Like, you know oh. when you see, like, the side of an ant farm? Mm -hmm. That's the entire map. It's like all these little crevices everywhere, um, and you have to figure out how to move in a way that <coughs> you you don't die, and um, you always have to be saving. Um, really cool game uh, as a side scroller. I uh, I give this thing like uh, uh, what, what what was I gonna give it? Uh, <coughs> I'm giving it a nine and a half, which is a wizard Ooh. with some fuzz. Nice. Like it is a fantastic game. That's um, that's just everything about it. That's good. You're, that's you, good. You play, you play through it, and you're you're just amazed that like you're you're playing this piece of art, basically. That's awesome. Um, as as a little forest spirit ninja. Yeah, uh, yeah, I still want to play it. I mean, that game looks awesome. It looks sweet. Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't. Got it looks Xbox so one. cool. It looks so cool. Xbox Quite One sucks, 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 sucks. Yeah. You guys can play off my account. Go for it. I don't care. <laughs> ha! Tell me I don't have an ha. Xbox One. Steam, motherfucker! Yeah, I know. <laughs> you can use all of my money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I spend, your, I I spend your money. I spend your money. You pay games. I buy games. You play games. Okay. <laughs> That's what I meant. Yeah. Yo, you get it. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh. Fucking awesome. Good, uh, good. That's awesome. It, play it. Play it. It's, uh, it's about 6 to 12 hour long campaign. Oh. Um, that's pretty long for, like, a I mean, side-scroller indie yeah, game. Yeah, you die a lot. <laughs> is, is that why it takes so long? Because you die? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, okay. There's a lot of dying. <laughs> uh, a lot of make dying. sure you save. Well, yeah. There's one tip. Save often. Save a lot. <laughs> Old school RPG you style. Actually, you you decide when you're saving. You create your save points. 
So oh, really? Often. Yeah. And then you'll die and be like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm way back here. This sucks. <laughs> oh, that face, though. <laughs> All right, well, um, what do we got? That's my review. Well, real quick, shout out for uh, K- K- K-Hex? Kyhex. I don't know how to say your name. Thanks for the follow, man. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks, dude. Yeah, let's uh, let's go into um, releases this week because game releases. I've been waiting for forever comes out in two days. Ah. So, can, can you are you gonna are you gonna donate some blood for this one? I would gladly donate blood for Bloodborne if I got it for free. <laughs> if they were like, "Hey, you come donate a pint of blood, we'll let you get the game free," I'd be like, "I'll see you guys later. I got places to be," <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be out. Like, it would it would not even a question? Yeah, I'd be on it. Anyway, what else is coming out this week? We got we got Lego Ninjago coming out on 3DS oh. and Vita. Oh, okay. and <laughs> oh awesome! <laughs> uh, for all your Borderlands fans, Borderlands Handsome Collection, PS4 and Xbox. Oh, I really want to get that too. Wait, is that one, two, and the prequel? Mm-hmm. And all the DLC? It's two in the prequel and all the DLC. Okay, it's not one. No, I don't think why I. Why would so. you want? Why would you want Borderlands two? Or, because I mean, wrong, is shit. I played a fucking like a hundred plus hours of that game. Yeah, yeah, but it's yeah, so it, your your game transfers and it's in HD bumped graphics, so everything looks better. Uh, okay, and I guess like the prequel. Yeah, it's it's story, yeah. So like, like know yeah, on you you want to play through uh, two first and then jump into the prequel, and you get all the DLC packs, you get everything with it. So uh, it's a great deal. Like you get the two games, you oh, get yeah, yeah, yeah. all the characters that are the doer DLC in Borderlands Two. You get. The Borderlands pre sequel DLC. And How much DLC is already out for that? So, so I think wait, two wait, I think I have two DLC packs. You mean this is like buying a game that comes with everything? You don't have to buy DLC for it? You mean that's what I'm saying, yeah. Should come out? Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh man. This 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 is yeah. this release is what all of the games should be doing. Like Oh, we we made we we made all this content. Here you go. Not, hey, we made this yeah. game. Here's all this content for extra dollars. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess like the scum. Borderlands too. It's not that big of a deal because like it's uh, two years old at least. Uh, like, ah, dude, it's 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 older than that, isn't it? So, yeah, I think it's almost three years. Three, at least three. I don't know. Hey, MLG, but, uh, Mr. Grumpa. Thanks for the follow, man. <clears throat> but um. Yeah, like that makes sense Ooh, that they follow. can release all that shit. Yeah, but, I mean I that's, the, that's pretty cool though. It's gonna be it's it's a good game that for. Did every, you for ever come play with all. the second one, Spencer Bobby? I played Borderlands two. Um, I pre sequel, but don't play it. I you can play it. I got Borderlands two played on PS three for a long time. Got Borderlands two on Vita. Uh, game broken, doesn't work. And then they fix it, so it kind of works, but I kind of lost interest at this point. Uh, I have the pre-sequel over there. It's still in its plastic wrapping. I haven't actually played it yet, so, yeah. Well, there's a DLC for Borderlands 2, Tiny Tina's... Yeah, yeah. Whatever the fuck. Best DLC I've ever played. That's awesome. Yeah, that's cool. I, I, I know that with the uh, Vita version, it came with all the DLC for Borderlands 2, so... I have the tiny, tiny oh, Tina yeah. stuff. I highly recommend playing that because it's <clears> fucking <throat> whole, it's so good on like multiple levels. It's very fun. It adds a bunch of content. It's hmm. super fun. The the writing in Borderlands is so funny. Yeah, it's great. Like, <laughs> I love the writing just, in Borderlands. Tiny Tina is like they part. They're playing D and D. There's like a bunch of D and D references. Nice. Uh, it's fu- It's super good. I highly recommend playing it. That's There's awesome. Like Star Wars references and stuff. I don't know. It's great. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to get the handsome collection. Lord of the Rings. Not Star Wars. They get it. It's worth it. It's just, just sixty bucks. Yeah, it'll it'll probably go on sale eventually. Yeah, it's it's full I, price. It's a sixty dollars. That sounds yeah, it's definitely worth it. Yeah. If you picked up Borderlands, like, uh, I I kind of regret buying the prequel 
on its own if I knew this was coming out. Yeah, well, they announced yeah, it. They announced it like a month ago. So. So, uh, so you can play with me on PC. Yeah, I have it. I have it on the PC, and we made those characters. Well, dude, we what? Got, like ten minutes in, and then we stopped playing because you yep. had to leave or something. So. Yep, that's what I do. Yeah, <laughs> game play for ten minutes. Good, good old Spencer. Right, that's why. We, that's why we call him ten. Ten minutes, Ben. <laughs> ten minutes, Ben. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. Slender: The Arrival comes out on PS4 and Xbox One. Oh, oh thank God. Uh, Metal, Metal Slug Three, uh, PlayStation exclusive, PS3, PS4, Vita. That's actually um, kind of cool. I like Metal Slug. That's fun. I like Metal Slug. Metal Slug's uh, awesome. Mask is Damascus Gear Operation Tokyo Vita only game. I still don't know why Sony's coming out with Vita only game. Yeah, I, uh, the, it's okay. Vita, aren't they? they? I don't know what they're doing with it because they. I didn't even know this game existed until just now. So it's like they don't advertise their games. They don't do anything for their games on Vita. They just like, oh, here you go. Here's a new game. Surprise. But we don't know what it is. So why am I going to play it? Like, I don't know. They're, they're, uh, they're, I think they're just trying to kill the Vita. Your B Episode 1 comes out. Uh, it's a PS4 only game. I have no idea what Your B is or what it is. Uh, it's an yeah. E for everyone game. Boring. And, <laughs> um, it looks like some sort of you're a robot, futuristic, whatever, kick some ass, take some names. As as a kid friendly game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like, okay, you 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 had me at the the robot kicking ass thing until the E for everyone thing. And, eh, well, yep. give me a T and I'll and then I'll talk to you. <laughs> well, it, it, think of it, I, I guess like Knack. Hmm. Knack was fun. I Knack, yeah, Knack was cool. Got terrible reviews. Uh, good game. It was good. It was a good game. Yeah. I thought it was fun. I had a lot of fun. It was great. Yeah. Uh, Life is Strange episode two comes out this week, which I will probably be playing with Miranda because you're stoked. Um, I'm stoked. Episode one was great. It was really fun. Yeah, I still haven't played that. Cool indie movie esque. I, I kind of I kind of want to wait until they all come out and then just play them in order. Yeah, you could do that because they're super short. It's only yeah. Like an hour a piece. Yeah, I figured I'd just I'll just do that. Um. Another Vita-only game, 2013, Infected Wars. Don't know what it is. <laughs> Good job, Sony. <laughs> and then a PS4-only game, Arcade Archives, Map Mania, Exciting Hour. <laughs> that's a fun name. That's that. That's PS4 only. I'm into it. Uh, and <laughs> I have no idea what it is, but I super, like it. Looks like it's all super old-school games. Um... Yeah, they they had they had a they had a huge flash sale this week on Super Old Games too, PS One Classics and stuff. I saw that it was like a dollar. Yeah. Game. Yeah, it was um, cool. Uh, it you know Bobby, you would like Arcade Archives Met Media Exciting Hour because it's a uh, it's a wrestling game that looks like it was made in the late. Yes. Uh, if if you had. had WrestleMania is next weekend. Things with A and B. That's, that's you play this game. Just so everybody knows, WrestleMania next weekend. Hey, Ooh. hey. Um, WWE, that's bro. It, that's, that's all the releases this week. That's it. That's it. You didn't even say Bloodborne. Well, we talked about. <laughs> yeah, but Spencer's the game release guy. That was the very first thing we talked about. Uh, Infinite Crisis. Is that on PC? Pillars of Eternity comes out on PC. What? Wait, PC only what? releases. I think it's like out of beta now. Infinite Crisis is. Because uh... it's, it's, it's still beta. Huh. I still I'm Here... on my right now on my desktop. Heroes of the Storm is still beta. But they have tournaments for it. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, that's so weird. Hate that's you. So weird. It's so dumb. It's stupid. You it doesn't make any fucking sense. By playing Heroes of the Storm. You haven't even it's released the game yet. God. It's so dumb. Yep. It's so dumb. I love you, Blizzard. Uh, anyway, I love your games. But that's, that's stupid. That's kind of cool. Uh, on yeah. Friday or Thursday. That's out of beta uh, now, finally. Sign up, sign up and play for free. I'm going to do it. I'm yeah, it, it. Infinite Crisis was fun. Infinite Crisis. I played the beta when it first came out, but I mean, it was pretty cool. Um, I, a, lot, a lot like Heroes of the Storm. Uh, huh? Yeah. 
I signed up for uh, uh, Planet Side to PS4 beta Side. as well. Nice. Oh. So. Do anyway, it. Do it. Do it. Whole, by the way, I play. I played it a couple weeks ago, and it's a lot easier on the PS on PlayStation than it is on computer. Like, <laughs> it's way more fun on PlayStation. That's awesome. Because everybody's using a controller, so. <laughs> um, yeah. Did we yeah. talk about Pillars of Eternity last week? I don't know. Uh, I don't think so. This looks like a dungeon crawler. No. Uh, anyway, dungeon crawler game comes out on Thursday as well. Cool. It's like an MMO I can dig it. Dungeon crawler kind of thing. So. Oh no, uh, we 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 talked about Skyforge last week, which is that same there thing. There we go. I think <laughs> it was one of those. Same thing. Um, and then I mean, uh, nothing else really is that exciting that comes out this month. Uh, Neverwinter Xbox One exclusive later on this month. MLB 15 the show if you're a fan. Yeah. Um, yeah. And Axiom Verge paper bound both sports exclusive. Axiom fucking Verge. Ha <sighs> boner. Yeah. Oh dude. Excited. Dude. Dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You excited? Oh my god. Axiom Verge is going to be so good, and I'm going to so play it so hard. I mean, if, if you yeah. like, if you liked Super Metroid and you liked the old Castlevania games, you're going to love Axiom Verge. It looks like anybody who played those old games would like it. I like those old games. You're going to like this game then. Hey, Nate, you should play... Oh, Xbox guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I never got to rant about Dignitas, but just real quick, Azingi, you're an asshole. If you're still on the team next week, I'm going to be very disappointed in whoever is running Dignitas. I'm going to call Melixia and be like, hey, dude, the guy hasn't stood up once to shake anybody's hand, except for the one time he won a game and had to walk across stage to do it. They're one in five with Azingi, and he's still on the team. They were two and two with Cloud Win and kicked him off the team and he was actually a good guy. He was a fucking cool kid. <sighs> I don't know what who is running Team Dig and Toss right now on the in League of Legends, but you're you're fucking up. That's all I'm saying. Learn how to run a fucking team. <laughs> well, good rant. Yes, thank good you. Rant. Thank you. I, I just needed to get that off my chest. So thank you. Thank you for listening. This is why you guys are my best friends. Welcome, man. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, I think that wraps up this week. Yeah. <laughs> Unless they have something else to say. Flankton. No, I'm good. Sorry, I was watching a dog throw its puppy because it got tickled. Sorry. <laughs> Are you just watching YouTube um, videos right now? No, I was, I, I'm sorry. God damn it. Am I really that boring talking? <sighs> Dude, you were talking about PS1 or PS4 shit. I don't care. Oh, come on. At least we listen to you talk oh, about your Xbox news. Yeah, oh, like, wait. Yeah. Oh, wait. Your failing console has no news. Failing console? Dickhead. Let me talk about exclusives releases here that keep getting pushed back. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> uh... Do you want to talk uh, about Halo's broken yeah, servers? Join us next Sunday. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah. Join us next Sunday, uh, 3 p.m. Pacific time. Ish. For next week's podcast, <laughs> episode nine. Where we feel like yeah. it. Yeah, it's right, right, right. It's right around like three, three ten. We got right said that area. <laughs> Depends on uh, what games we're playing and or who's. Heroes of the Storm or not? Yeah, Heroes of the Storm. Hey, I was done. I was done. It also depends on uh, some League of Legends matches. If we're there, there. Hype yeah. matches. We'll we'll finish watching them for you. So please jump on there. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, make sure you subscribe uh, on YouTube. The week. <laughs> subscribe yeah. on YouTube. We have a YouTube channel. Ooh. And then, uh, I think Party Train is on Hitbox. Yeah, hitbox.tv slash p4rty train. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't stream on Twitch anymore. I'm, I'm a hitboxer. Twitch, Twitch, you suck. Yes! Shots uh, fired. Uh, uh, um, got him. And then, <laughs> I stream on Twitch, and then I stream kind of streams every once in a while. Uh, Twitch. Yeah. Um, I try to stream whenever I play games, but it's been a lot of Final Fantasy XIV lately, so it hasn't been a lot of streaming because nobody wants to see that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now all, all the links are uh, in the, in the profile down below. 
You just click the faces. Put the man on the faces. Click them. Take us to your profiles. Clicky, Follow us. Clicky. Watch us. Nice. I Join the chat. That. That's nice. Have fun. We Follow have fun. Us, watch us. We'll have fun all week. Join us next Sunday, 3 p.m. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, everybody.